We could say that we've got a flag breakout. Breakout, guys, is going to bring us all the way at the immediate short term target to seven cents. So we hit that first target pretty easily. We now need to find out where we're expecting well to go in the next leg. Right, so well done to everybody who did take action on the last few videos that we made on Moonwell. Still, 76% of you are not subscribed. If you want more Moonwell updates, I'm gonna try my best to bring you as much content as possible. Go and click that button. Let's get into it. All right, you guys, time of recording is 10 p.m. on Sunday night. So we're coming up to one of the most important candle closes for Bitcoin on the weekly chart. This is step one. OK, we still got a lot of resistance above our heads, but the market's reacting pretty well to Bitcoin being at nearly 69K. It had that rejection from 69K. We're still hovering at high 68s and you're starting to see pretty much all of the market pick up with Bitcoin. Over 750 million well is now staked on Moonwell DeFi across Base, Optimism and Moonbeam Network, closing in on the $1 billion mark soon. And again, I've shown you this over the past two videos. If you don't know how to do it, go and check one of the previous videos. But you can put your digital assets to work with Moonwell, start lending, start borrowing, earning some APY with your Moonwell. And it looks like people are doing it, but well is pumping hard while bitcoin is ranging what's going to happen when bitcoin is at its all-time high do you think bitcoin's going to be at its all-time high over the next couple of weeks i think it looks very very likely we're leading up into the election everything is starting to price in some positive news for whoever does come into power again we're not going to get political but you know who we need to win right now the market's reacting really really positively to it and some of the altcoins are starting to leave the basement and they're going to be printing price discovery it looks like from the coinbase chart moonwell is about to be in price discovery many of you said to me we're hitting one dollar you guys already know that my target is going to be 34 cents to be getting out. Maybe we'll have some higher targets as well. But do you think I'm getting out too early? Do you think we're going way past 34 cents to $1? Let me know in the comment section right now. But just a friendly reminder that Aerodrome did a 5.5x in four days of breaking above its prior high. It then went on to do another 4x from that. Moonwell looks strong for a weekly close. If it repeats Aero's move, well will trade at 20 cents faster than you can nuke your shit coin. And look, people are drawing their fibs now from that eight cent high. And that would mean that our 1618 target is going to be around 12 cents. We've got a 2618 at 19, 3618 at 26 cents for the next leg up for this price discovery, guys. So a lot of people think we're going to be hitting that 12 cents to 19 cents very, very soon. When do you guys think we're going to hit it? Could be soon because Moonwell's trending on CoinGecko and has entered the top 300. Some of these we hold, some of these we don't, but AI Tech's there, Turbo's there, MAGA Hat, Phil Apecoin, Deep Book, which was like pumping, I think it pumped like 70% today. Moonwell up 19%, up around 20% for the day. Bears are starting to regret not acting on Moonwell Finance. The world chart back in September, look at it. It was all the way at one cent and it's now up 600% percent okay so when people come into the comment section they ask me oh should i put 2k in well should i put this case should i put this in well should i put this in well well we had our buy prices on the channel so if you come and ask me should you be buying now i'm not going to give you an answer you can figure that out for yourself but we had our buy at four cents and at five cents now we're riding the wave but look at the chart guys come on you got to be subscribed to make sure that you can ride these waves with me do it now we had our perfect technical breakout reached at seven cents we're now finding resistance there surprise surprise is it surprise surprise not really we had a rejection all the way down found support at the 0.5 fib and it looks like we're starting to make our way back up now where can we be expecting the immediate short-term leg to be going for moonwell well now that we've completed our technical breakout it looks like we're in a new move guys so we can say that the actual base of this move is going to be from around 5.6 cents we got our one fib at seven cents the 1618 is going to be an eight cent technical target blow off top for the next leg is going to be all the way at 11 cents okay so remember we're looking at things like i think it was g file goldfinch at today's price that was going to give us a 13 cent moonwell 
and Mumo could be overtaking these coins very, very soon. But right now, eyes on the prize is going to be at the one fib at seven cents, at the one six one eight at eight cents, and then trying to break into that double digit cent range at around nine to eleven cents. And like I'll say in every single video, we're in the supply zone, so again, we can't be too ahead of ourselves. We got to, we got to exercise caution, and we got to realize right, the supply zone means supply zone. It means we should be expecting resistance in here. However, once we can get to the top of the supply zone and actually once we can start to break this area of the supply zone at around 445 billion that can be when we say you know what party time is round the corner but that's it just a quick update on moonwell if you're not part of the family already you know what to do let me know what you think of moonwell in the comments and i'm gonna see you tomorrow peace